Hi everybody, today I want to share for you a decluttering video. I have not done one of these in quite some time, but it is coming upon the new year and it's between Christmas and New Year, so I thought I'd share decluttering of two kitchen drawers. Um, my first is my kitchen utensils drawer and then my second is, well again, my kitchen utensils for like cooking and baking and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, this is really only about a 10 minute job. First thing I always do is take everything out and wipe down my drawer. And I have a little polka dot liner in there that is um, non-slip, so that is super helpful as well. And of course, I go through my little containers and of course, you always have so many clips and so many twist ties. And then my daughter's silverware. And I don't really need these really infant spoons at this time, so I'll tuck them away. But it just looks a lot more tidy, less cluttered, um, and still organized in a very simple fashion. All right, so here's my second drawer. This is a little more chaotic. I organize it probably once a year, but it just truly gets very cluttered. And when you add more utensils as you need them, and they then maybe don't get put back in the right drawer, you know how that goes. So I'm just taking everything out, and again, going to clean out the drawer. And I had a um, self-adhesive slip on the bottom of this drawer and then a non-slip pad, and it just was not working well. So I actually... After I clear everything out, decided to use a much better non-slip pad that you'll see here. Um, I think it was just from the Dollar Tree, and of course, though, have to clean everything out first and wipe it out. It's just always so gunky, right? And then you find random screws from who knows where. But this uh, vinyl surface self-adhesive top was really nice to have especially when it's clean and fresh. And I'm not a huge fan of my polka dots anymore, but you know, it is what it is. And then it's time to look through everything. Here's what I'm getting rid of. And I'm sending that bag of spoons and forks to my vehicle and then putting the baby spoons downstairs, my canning stuff downstairs. And doesn't the drawer just look so much cleaner? I can see everything really well now. It doesn't slip around. Everything has its own little space and place to be. And that is truly how I like it. Um, that blue pizza cutter is amazing. It's wonderful. That little white basket was from a Dollar Tree that just holds my basters and meat thermometers. I have like a pie server, some spatulas, you know, the things you use, but not every day. And I just think this is a great place by my stove to have all of this. So I hope this inspired you to declutter for 10 minutes today, especially in this new year and new season. Have a blessed and wonderful day.